Je, Rigadhi Gashagwa ameanza kusalitiwa ama hawa viongozi wa upande wa Mount Kenya wanachukua tumsimamo uliodhabiti? Na uliza ile swali kutokana na maneno yaliyosemwa na Sabina Chege ambaye kwa wakati fulani alionekana kuwa karibu sana na Rigadhi Gashagwa na hata nakumbuka kuna wakati alikuwa amesema ya kuwa ye hawezi ku sign impeachment motion ya Rigadhi Gashagwa Juzi tu tunamuona anaambia watu wa Mount Kenya kuwa rais wa Jamhuri wa Kenya ambaye ni daktari William Samoei alifanya kitu alichojua kwa kumtoa Rigadhi Gashagwa na kumweka nani kiture kindiki na nataka tuangalie hili swala kwa kina kabisa tuelewe jinsi eh, mambo yanaanza kubadilika je ni kusalitiwa ama ni kufanya tu mambo eh, jinsi yalivyo acha tumsikize kidogo Sabina Chege alafu tuendelee na mazungumzo yetu Number three, I am on the ground. I came to Muranga. I'm very, very, very happy. Kandara constituency, I've already gone to two wards. I was interacting with people. I had come to visit a friend of mine called Wanjiro, who lost her eyesight, and I wanted to see how she's doing. So I came and I had a little bit of some food donation. But people are calm, and I want to ask Mount Kenya people, please let us remain calm. I am on the ground, and the ground is calm. The only thing I want to urge the leader who are at my position in parliament and senate, let us be humble. Let us explain to these people politely, without chest thumping, and these people have no problem. We had two sons of the mountain. One has served for two years. There's another one, hopefully, that he's going to serve for the next three years. Let us encourage each other. Let us pray for him. Let us support him because we cannot be in opposition. We want to work with the government so that our people can benefit. Talking about healthcare, we are talking about education. We are talking about our security. Where can we get all these things if you're not in the government? And because His Excellency, the President, is the one who has appointed the first deputy president, he's also the one who has appointed the second one. And you know, there was a lot of challenges even for the appointment of the first one. He chose him. We know he's the one who has reasons why he has, he has uh, decided to change. And we are we are praying for them that God will give them wisdom that they're going to work for Kenyans. And now we focus on development and stop politicking. And I want to urge our fellow, my fellow colleagues, let us now drop the politics and work for our people because we only have three years to serve. Kama ulivyo msikiza Sabina Chege anazungumza anasema kuwa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya ndiye aliyemchagua Gashagwa na kumpa hiyo nafasi ya kuwa deputy president na vile vile yeye ndiye amempa Kiture Kindiki anasema ya kuwa e, anajua kile ambacho anafanya na inaeleweka inaeleweka kwa kusema hivyo ila mbona abadilishe msimamo wake kumbuka ni, ni ye moja wapo ya wale watu waliokuwa na pigia debe rigadhi gashagwa na kusema kuwa yeye ndio kiongozi wa upande wa mlima ningependa tuangalie hili swala e, ila kabla tuangalie ningependa pia ujiulize wewe oh, oh, kidhani mbona sabina chege na viongozi wengine kutoka upande wa mount kenya wanaanza kuchukua huu msimamo ambao ni msimamo ambao hawakukua wameuchukulia wakati wa awali e, ila kabla tuanze kuangalia cha pia nichukue hii fursa kuwashukuru wale wote wa ambao wanakuja kututazama hapa na vile vile E, kuomba wale ambao ni wageni katika channel yetu chukua sekunde moja subscribe ili tuzidi kutengeneza familia kubwa ya Sokrato TV ningependa tuanze na kusema hivi e, kila kitu ambacho mimi naona e, e, Sabina Chege wanaanza kufanya ni ya kuwa wameshagundua ya kuwa yule mtu anaye na nguvu mingi zaidi ni nani ni rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya daktari William Samoei Ruto yani president na Rigathi Gashagwa nguvu yake ilikuwa ule wakati alikuwa naibu wa rais na kwa baada ya kungatuliwa mamlakani ama kuondolewa nguvu yake imepotea na ndio maana mimi husisa kusema kuwa viongozi waliokuwa namfuatafuata Rigathi Gashagwa walikuwa wanamfuatafuata tu kwa sababu walikuwa wanajua anaweza pata kitu kutoka kwake walikuwa wanajua kwa sababu yeye ni naibu wa rais angeweza kuwasaidia kwa njia moja ama nyingine na kwa sababu ameshajitoa katika hii siasa ametolewa ama niseme hivyo hana nguvu haidhi kuwasaidia kitu chochote kwa maana wanaona kuwa yeye ni anakuwa sasa yeye ni mzigo na wale ambao bado wanaendelea kumfuatilia nyuma nyuma tuseme wale ambao bado e, wamekuwa katika e, mikutano yake ni wale ambao wanaona kuwa wanaweza kufaidika kutokana na kumsupport wanaona kuwa Grigadhi Gashagwa ako na ground kwa hivyo wakiendelea kumsupport basi itakuwa rahisi wao pia kupata ground na kuweza kushinda kura. Na ndio maana ukiangalia vizuri na utagundua ya kuwa wale watu ama wale viongozi ambao wanamfuatilia Rigathi Gashagwa wengi wao hawana viti. Yaani wali hawakuweza kupata kiti chochote 
wakati wa mwaka 2022 watu kama kuna Ketu Waruguru ambaye alikuwa na nia kiti cha women rep na amejua ya kuwa akijiweka pamoja na Rigathi Gashagwa ground itaweza kumpenda na iweze kumpatia kura mwaka 2027 kwa hivyo hakuna mtu yote ama kiongozi yote hapo aliye na haja ya kumsaidia Rigathi Gashagwa ukiangalia mtu kama eh, Sabina Chege alikuwa anajua yeye ni kumbuka yesa, wakati huu tunapozungumza yeye ni E, moja wapo ya nominated members of parliament. Kwa hivyo yeye hata akosawa kuliko Rigathi Gachagua kwa sababu yeye ana nafasi ya kisheria, ana nafasi ya kisiasa. Kwa hivyo aoni haja yote ya kujiweka pamoja na Rigathi Gachagua na vile vile pia anajua kuwa Ruto ndiye ana nguvu na anaweza kumfanyia kile ambacho alifanyia Rigathi Gachagua alifanyiwa. Hicho ndicho kitu cha kwanza ambacho naona. Na vile vile pia kwa kusababu hataki ku, kuweza kuvurugana na rais E, ndiye maana anaanza kujitoa na, kwa sababu akianza kufurugana na rais e, haitakaa sawa kwake kuna mambo fulani hapa na pale labda anaweza kuwa anataka kwa rais na itakuwa tu sawa kwake kujieka sawa na rais ili rais ampende na labda akitisha msaada mmoja ama fedha moja mbili tatu e, rais ataweza e, kumpatia kumbuka moja hapo kitu kile kitu ambacho amesema ni kuwa hakuna haja kuwa kwa opposition anasema opposition ukikuwa kwa opposition hauwezi pata maendeleo e, mara opposition hauwezi pata nini e, ndio ni ukweli kukuwa kwa opposition labda huwezi pata maendeleo lakini tena si kweli kwa sababu kuna county zingine zilizokuwa kwa opposition kwa muda mrefu lakini zimeendelea kwa hivyo hiyo haiwezi kuwa sababu dhabiti na opposition hata ukweko opposition ama ukweka government e, ile katiba ya Kenya inasema kuwa rasilimali ya nchi inafaa igawiwe kwa njia fulani kuna ile njia ambayo imewekwa na haigawiwi kulingana na jinsi watu walivyopiga kura inagawiwa kulingana na katiba kwa hivyo hiyo ni sababu tu ya kuweza kuweza kuonesha kwa anataka amunge rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya na ningependa niseme hivi pia ndio Sabina Chege anajieka pamoja na rais na anajitenga na Rigathi Gachagua ila naona pia ye huenda aumie na kumia na maanisha kisiasa kwa maana ukiangalia ground ya Rigathi Gachagua ama ground ya Mount Kenya inamuona Rigathi Gachagua kama ni mtu aliyekuwa anahangaishwa mtu ambaye alifaa asikizwe mtu ambaye alikuwa anapigania watu wa Mount Kenya kwa hivyo mtu yote ambaye anaanza kumpinga na aanze ku support daktari William Samuel Ruto ambaye hapaendelee huko kwa sasa anaona kuwa ni mtu ambaye amesaliti jamii kwa hivyo uh, uh, Sabina Chege asipochunga itakuwa vigumu sana kuweza kupata kiti chochote kutoka upande wa Mount Kenya mwaka 2027 ama labda kwa sababu kiti chake kila hicho nacho ni cha kuweza kupatiwa nominated inamaanisha labda hana haja tena anategemea tu atapewa kiti kama hicho ila akienda kwa ground atapata kazi ngumu sana kwa maana wakati huu tunapozungumza tunamemsikia kwa Rigathi Gachagua anatengeneza pati yake na anataka ku take over Mount Kenya region whereby anataka kupeleka wabunge maseneta magavana kupitia hicho chama ambacho atakitengeza na wale wote ambao walikuwa na support daktari William Samuel Ruto ama wale wote ambao watania katika kiti amba, kiche, chama cha daktari William Samuel Ruto itakuwa vigumu wao kupata hicho kitu kwa sababu eh, ground imeona kwa Rigathi Gachagua hakufanyiwa vizuri kwa hivyo eh, eh, Sabina Chege na wale wengine viongozi wengine ambao wanaanza kumtenga Rigathi Gachagua wanafaa wawaze hilo na wafikirie sana kwa maana mambo hayatakuwa jinsi eh, yalivyo walivyofikiria na eh, kama labda eh, uyu Sabina Chege angetaka vizuri labda angenyamaza tu angepatiana comment kuhusiana na hili swali angenyamaza tu like kutumeona kama kuna magavana fulani wajaongea chochote hajaongea na upande wa hajaongea ni kama wanamkashifu Rigathi Gachagua na hajaongea ni kama wanamkashifu Ruto kwa mfano kuna Irungu Kangata kuna huyu kijana ambaye anaitwa Ndindi Nyoro hawajazungumza chochote kuhusiana na hilo swala yani hawaeleweki hawezi jua wako upande wa Rigathi Gachagua ama wako upande wa nani Kithure upande wa Kithure Kindiki na hiyo inafanya wawe na ule uwezo mkubwa wa kuweza kwenda upande wote wakati utakapofika kwa sababu haitaonekana kuwa wamemsaliti yote wanaweza kusema hiyo wakati kuwa walinyamaza kwa sababu walikuwa wanaona kuwa mambo yalikuwa hayaendi vizuri unaona kwa hivyo ikabidi wamenyamaza na kama huyu kiongozi kwa jina la Sabina Chege angefuata huo mondoko ama mwelekeo wa kukimia basi ingekuwa rahisi ye kutounda ma adui ndio kama ananyamaza na haegemei upande wote 
upande wote unaanza kumshuku kwa mfano wakati huu ndidi nyoro watu walio katika azimi, wa, upande wa serikali wanamshukushuku hadi upande wa rigadhi gashego pia wanamshukushuku ila hawana chochote kile cha kusema ya kuwa wana dhidi yake na hiyo inampa nguvu zaidi kwa hivyo kile kitu ambacho angefanya ni labda ku remain neutral na kungoja jinsi mambo yatakavyoendelea mambo yakimuendelea em vizuri daktari William Samuel tu angesema basi acha tumsupport mambo yakimuendelea vizuri rigadhi kachagua angesema wacha tumsupport ila yeye tayari ashaamua ana mkashifu rigadhi kachagua ana msifuruto na hata nakumbuka kuwa ni moja wapo ya wabunge walio sign ile eh, document iliyokuwa ya kuimpeach rigadhi kachagua na vile vile akavote yes hii ni hata baada ya kusema kuwa hangeweza kusaini document Ina, ino, inaonesha kwa yeye ni yule mwanasiasa ambaye hana msimamo mwanasiasa ambaye hana mabili na mwanasiasa ambaye hasimamii yale ambayo wananchi wanataka ila yale tu ambayo anafikiria yatamsaidia na hivyo ndivyo mimi nafikiria kuhusiana na haya maneno ambayo yanatoka katika huyu kiongozi Sabina Chege ambaye ni mojawapo ya wale viongozi waliopewa vyeo katika e, bunge la jamhuri ya Kenya. Napomalizia hii video, e, ningependa kusema kuwa kama ule e, tuseme ile hali mbaya iliyoko katika upande wa Mount Kenya dhidi ya daktari William Samoei Ruto itazidi, yani watu kulalamika dhidi ya yeye, watu kama Sabina Chege watapata pigo kubwa sana la kisiasa na itakuwa vigumu wao sana e, kuweza e, kufaulu katika mambo yao ya kisiasa na ndio maana niliweza kusisitiza kuwa ku remain neutral will have been a better option sijua una hisi vipi kulingana na haya maneno ambayo yanaweza ku eh, waziwazi ungeza pia kunielezea katika comment box ili tuzidi kusemezana tukutane tena katika video ijayo kweli ya kuonana